Hey guys, hi, how are you? It's been two months since we bought this car and I just got my permanent license plates and I thought it was a good moment to bring a video of the things that I like and dislike about our GV70 so far. I decided to break this video in two. So basically today I'm gonna focus on five things that I really like about this 2024 Genesis GV70 and in a later video I'm gonna bring you the five things that I hate or dislike about this SUV. I would think that you benefit more of me telling you the things that I don't like so maybe you can put them on your things to look for in case you want to test drive one of these in case you have an interest for this vehicle. This video should work as a preamble of what the next video is going to be because I just don't want to sound negative without a context. So Let's move on to the five things that I really like about our GV70. Starting with the interior because it's so rich. Just about anyone that gets in the vehicle complements the interior. Yes, we are the ones sending the monthly payment, so we only care about what we think about this vehicle, but it's nice when people get in the car and start talking about like how nice is the interior because this just feels so good to touch every knob and every switch has the right texture, the right heft, the counter stitching. Seems like it was stitched together with very consistent pressure for a high quality feel and look. And keep in mind that only the sitting surfaces are real leather and the rest of the surfaces, most of them are wrapped in vinyl, but this man-made material is of the right texture, the right color, and is backed by the right amount of padding. Complementing this gorgeous interior is the sound insulation that makes this cabin very very quiet for the optimal driving experience and I could talk more about the interior that I love I love things like the heated and ventilated seats and the driver's massage feature that I wish the front passenger had as well a ding that I would give this interior is the fabric inserts of the seats I've said this before in other videos I wish they were full leather but I'll leave that for a future video because here I'm only concentrating on the things that I like about our GV70. And number two, the exterior in general. Starting with the lights, I didn't have to pay extra for this full LED lighting all around. In most of the competition, you have to pay a premium to get the nicer LED headlights. And this split module headlights are present in every GV70, even the base model. I like the tail lights are also full LED as well and they're massive without being overwhelming. And one nice touch is that the third light is implemented throughout the rear spoiler and it's mostly hidden to the view unless of course you step on the brake. The dual exhaust pipes, I love them. When more and more manufacturers are opting to hide the tailpipes altogether, the GV70 presents them proudly fully in an oversized manner. And then just the overall looks, the massive grill. Sure, it seems like massive grills are implemented on just about every modern vehicle nowadays, but I really like the way it looks on this GV70 because it gives this SUV prominence and airs of luxury. I think the proportions of the GV70 are perfect for my taste, very wide, and the wheels are pushed all the way out and to the corners. I like how it is very distinctive. And just to put context into my, into my argument, there are cars out there that I just like because of how different they look, such as the case of the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. I wouldn't drive one just because I think they're so unreliable, but I do appreciate the uniqueness of its design. Number three, the powertrain. I love the power delivery from this four cylinder. I would like to hear from those of you that opted for the six cylinder version of this beauty. What was the deciding factor because I do find the power output of this 2.5 to be plenty for the size and weight of the GV70. I mostly drive it on Echo, but when I need to merge into traffic and I put it in sport, the power delivery is just smooth and instantaneous. And to be honest with you, I cannot even notice any turbo lag. The eight-speed transmission as well is very quick. And it puts me in the right gear for the job with very little, if any, hesitation that I cannot perceive between shifts. And about the all-wheel drive system, honestly, I live in California, which is dry most of the year. Unlike today that it's raining, that's why I'm in here today. So if I would have been presented with the option, I probably would have gotten just a real-wheel drive version of this had it been available for a better fuel economy. I remember that when the GV70 was announced, there were talks about having a real-wheel drive version available, but it never happened, at least never came to the United States. Let me know if in other countries they have it. And then number four, the 
hands-free lift gate. It may be something silly for some of you, but it's the little things in a vehicle that make the day-to-day -day better or worse. Many brands have tried different ways of opening the, the lift gate. Some open with the kick, like ports and others, and my RX350 will need a hand gesture. That was nice, but at the end of the day, you still need your hand to open it, right? So what if your hands are full? One of my least favorite things about this car is that part of the options is this hands-free tailgate opener, but you cannot have your hands tied with any boxes or anything because you still need that hand free to put your hand over the Lexus emblem. So I thought that was pretty dumb. But in the case of the GV70, it requires you uh, just to stand uh, behind the vehicle for a couple of seconds and just opens itself. And I find this system to be super intuitive because it requires you to do nothing, which I'm very good at doing, right? So it comes handy when you go to the grocery store and your hands are full. As I said, it's very intuitive when I find other aspects of this car not to be the most intuitive of all, but that's for another video. Number five, the perception of quality. I have found zero imperfections in the body, something that I have found in most cars I have owned in the past. The panel caps are very consistent and the paint job is gorgeous. The finish appears of high quality and the paint looks thick very rich with the right amount of pearl effect and clear coat that I absolutely love. The panels are very sturdy and hefty, which gives me the impression of durability down the road. Very similar to what I found in other vehicles from BMW. Notice how the doors actually extend all the way to the bottom for a cleaner look. Again, lots of attention to detail. Now I've already talked about the handsome interior and how we absolutely love it. If you're enjoying LTO video, Please consider subscribing for more related content. Let's continue. So there you have them, the five things we like the most about our GV70. Keep in mind that I brought you five reasons to love this SUV, but of course, there's more. In general, we are very pleased with it after two months of ownership, and I really find that interesting, and I am surprised of how little other people know about Genesis brand. I guess it just doesn't have the same brand recognition of other premium brands, and that could be a good or bad thing, depending on who you are. A bad thing for some of you that like to drive premium vehicles just to validate yourselves in society. I mean, I don't judge, I respect your reasons. Maybe I've done it in the past. If you want a Mercedes because it's a Mercedes, I respect you, but I'd just like to warn you that with Genesis, you won't find a lot of that feeling. But it's also a good thing, and let me explain to you why. Uh, when others have seen our car or SUV, they always compliment at first and then when they ask us how much we pay for it, uh, in at least three occasions, people have told me that they thought that the GV70 was a much more expensive vehicle. So I guess that's a good thing, right? And as I said in the past, Genesis continues to find its way in the premium segment. And I believe that they've done a great job at it. Uh, take for instance, my example, I never considered driving a Genesis until the GV70 came to fruition a couple of years ago. I believe that Genesis is now what Lexus used to be a few years back and it will continue to grow as long as they continue to deliver interesting vehicles such as the case of the GV70. In the future, I will bring you a video of the things, of the five things that we dislike about this GV70. And by the way, we're about to hit the 5,000 mile mark and that's a, it's a very important milestone because I will be taking it for its first special maintenance and it will be interesting because I will be using the Valet service. Genesis customer service doesn't have the best reputation. So I will be documenting my experience and of course sharing it with you on a future video. Um, and that is it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.